Australia is the smallest of the seven major continents, but it is the only one that is ruled by a single country, Australia is so large that it alone is the size of America, where 300 million people live, but it has a population of only 26 million people. Even England's population is more than double that of Australia. There are many countries in the world that are much smaller in size than Australia, but have five to seven times the population. When it comes to Australia's major cities, there are only five that have the highest population density. Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth, and Adelaide are among them. Australia is famous all over the world today, but more than 90% of their population lives in these big cities, which account for only 0.02% of the entire Australian continent. Even traveling from one city to another takes more than 35 hours by car, with only 72,000 people meeting along the way. On the other hand, if this distance were measured between cities in Europe, you could travel the entire continent. Now you understand how vast and desolate Australia is, with only a small percentage of its population residing in the country's interior and the majority living along its coastline. If we talk about its vast middle, then we all know that Australia is home to a variety of rare and dangerous animals, some of which are found only there, like the ostrich and kangaroo, as well as many other animals, along with there are also more dangerous reptile species. As a result, most people prefer to avoid such areas, and the majority of these dangerous reptiles are found in desert areas, or areas where there is a lot of drought. Australia is a very large country, but its fortunes are bleak, because its geography is also in poor shape. Most people in Australia live only up to 25 miles from the coastline, out of which 80% of the population lives on the eastern side, because there is a greater likelihood of rain compared to the north, and rain is a much bigger problem in Australia, because the large mountains on the eastern side block the rise of clouds from the sea. Also melt water from the south keeps clouds from forming in the ocean. Because of this, the middle portion of Australia is more dry. As a result, 20% of Australia has turned into a desert, where no one wants to live. Even in Australia, there are not many rivers, which cause people to have water problems. If people in this situation begin to live in desert regions, they will have to deal with many issues that they never could have imagined. Additionally, there won't be any people nearby to assist you if a poisonous snake or scorpion attacks you in such circumstance. Furthermore, due to a lack of rain in many parts of Australia, many areas have become rocky, making it impossible to live there, and the temperature continues to rise year after year. There are three large deserts in Australia alone, the Great Victoria Desert, the Great Sandy Desert, and the Gibson Desert. So, can you imagine what it would be like to live in a country with three large deserts? The people of Australia have made plans to purify ocean water for their daily uses. However, it is claimed that there is a massive reservoir of water under the ground of Australia that is large enough to provide moisture to the land for 1,000 years. Even the water extracted by boring is sourced solely from that water reservoir. Australia continent evolved over thousands of years, and due to the geography, the soil of Australia has deteriorated significantly over thousands of years. As a result, the western part of Australia has completely dried up in recent years. Despite its size, Australia has very little cultivable land, because most of it has become sandy due to a lack of rain or is unsuitable for cultivation, only 7% of the land is suitable for farming. However, this amount of land is sufficient for them, because the number of people living here is very small, and Australia is a very large country with an area of only 7% same as France, so they have plenty of food to export. Nonetheless, most of these people do not avoid the sea. There is already a lot of heat in Australia's western part, due to a lack of proper rain. However, as global warming continues, the temperature of the entire planet rises gradually. Similarly, the temperature in Australia rises much faster than usual, making it difficult to live there. In such places as Australia, temperatures can reach 50 degrees, which is unfit for human habitation, so imagine how animals would fare in such conditions. Many times, animals such as kangaroos seek refuge in cities due to extreme heat, and city dwellers provide them water, because they are aware that there are few sources of water in Australia. Even in the heat, 
there are many times when a fierce fire breaks out in the forests of Australia, killing many wild animals. You've probably heard on the news that there's a fire in Australia's forests. The reason for this is the same heat, because no one lives on the forest's edge. And when the heat is so intense that no one can see it, then fire gets too big and is visible from a distance. As a result, the forest fire reaches the populace. Australia continent alone has been isolated from the other continents for thousands of years, leading to the development of a unique type of life. Australia was not what it is today thousands of years ago. Many people could travel to Australia by land routes, due to the country's extremely low sea level, even Australia was once accessible to some animals. However, as sea levels continued to rise, Australia remained isolated from the rest of the world until the invention of the boat, and all the animals that evolved in Australia over so many years have resulted in the world's most diverse animals, which explains why Australia has so many animals. There will be sightings of unusual animal species kangaroo, ostrich, koala, and so on. But not all of the animals have to be cute and beautiful, that's why majority of people prefer to stay away from areas where wild animals reside, because many of these animals, including crocodiles, poisonous spiders, are dangerous. There are creatures like scorpions, the world's most deadly snakes, and desert camels that can attack people at any time. Animal warning signs are therefore posted in many locations throughout Australia. Because there was only one means of transportation in the past, which was by water, the majority of Australians also reside along the coast. It is well known that the middle of Australia is useless, the majority of the population has long since settled along the coast, where they used to feed themselves by fishing and farming. However, as technology advanced, they began farming extensively and began exporting their produce to other nations. As a result, Today Australia alone produces as much as Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Cambodia, and Vietnam combined produces grains, despite having a combined population of 500 million people, compared to Australia's 26 million. As a result, they have abundance of food, and with the aid of their sea vessels, they expand their trade with other nations, so that they can obtain the remaining items in exchange. Guys, you must now understand why 90% of Australia is uninhabited, and why most people live along the coast since Australia is now such a well-known nation throughout the entire world.